I'm here at the second annual WE Symposium celebrating women, inspiration, and enterprise, and co-hosted by the dynamic trio, Arianna Huffington, Donna Karen, and Sarah Brown. Created by Jun Sarpong and Deepoku, and MC this year by a blast from my VH1 past, Cynthia Garrett, the event brought together inspiring women leaders, activists, and entrepreneurs from across the globe. We were treated with special appearances by a handful of notables, including Second Lady Dr. Jill Biden, Minority Leader of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi, and Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. There were even a few good men, such as my friend and fellow young global leader Van Jones, esteemed Professor Jeffrey Sachs, and spiritual guru Deepak Chopra. The intention was to share ideas and experiences to help make life better for women around the world. It's all about each one of us getting involved and making a difference in the world. There were countless examples of women who were using their particular passion and influence to be positive change agents. So they're expecting like close to a million kids, children to die in this, in this family alone. Young designer and fellow young global leader Natalia Allen shared insights into the green fashion movement. Many of the clothes we wear have hundreds of thousands of known carcinogens, neurotoxins, and environmentalists. So we have to think about the way we use them and how we use them. And that's why it's so important for us to use these materials The overarching theme was to go for your dreams. Find something you're passionate about. Find something that you can relate to what you're doing during the day because you all have really, really busy lives and it's hard to fit it in. And then just go do it. The first thing that comes when you start a business has to be the passion. If you set out to do something for the money, doing that money will probably end up being miserable. Now you've really just got to be bold. You've got to have truth and conviction in what you're doing. Be really passionate about it. And, and know that no matter how small you are, you could do something that will change the world. I mean, you work for MySpace, I mean, yeah, okay, it's gone downhill now, but there was a time when it revolutionized the way that we communicated with people. I mean, Facebook and all these things now make the world so flat and so small. We can influence people. I mean, just with Desi here, you know, we're a small, we were a small company. We've grown out now on mobile, on television. We're across the web, we've reached 20 million people. But it started with a tiny podcast, and um, you know we do half a million impressions a day on Facebook of our content. The women who attended were indeed inspired and energized. I think that when you come here and you see women that have done amazing things, and that it was hard work, but they got through it, and they're inspired, and it just. I don't know, it just makes, it's a little bit lighter, it takes that load off that we're all working together, we're all trying to do something for a better cause, and so you walk away just motivated again and energized. And I think it brings you back when you come into an energy space like this with women to your truth and what you are able to do, because in the everyday we forget, you know, in that like structure of business with the other sex, with so many people in the to-dos that we forget why we started to do it. And, and the why is so important. Not what we're doing, but the why in our truth. And I think women, we do have that ability to inspire one another and to build that spirit. So to inspire say. everybody. I think yeah. women have, you know, that's our calling is to inspire children, to right. inspire teenagers, men. We have that just motherly instinct. And so I think it's a little easier for us. And so when we all get together, we can go out and spread that faster, I think, than, than other people. It's the, it's the feminine power for yeah. sure. <laughs> My favorite session, of course, was the mind-body-spirit panel, which was the one I spoke on last year. It was a reminder that we need to go within to actively nurture and charge our power every day. No matter where we live and how we live, there is going to be chaos around us. So we have to learn to find the common chaos. So just take a moment and just practice meditation, even if it's only five minutes. 
because your capacity will be so much more. And what you'll be giving will be so much more beneficial. As you get busier, I find, and I don't know if you find this, but you can't do it all. And it's okay to actually disappoint people gracefully and strongly. We are all uniquely designed to do something. I think that is our gift, and I think that's why we're here. And I think we get clues as to what that is all the time. I think ultimately we are all one heart. And there is nothing else. There is a separation of you know, personalities and ideas, but it doesn't mean a thing. You know, if we were in danger, we would all feel our oneness. So why shouldn't we feel our oneness on a daily basis? I would like women together, collectively, to redefine what it means to be powerful and to show the world that we can share our power. We can empower each other. As Donna Karen said, we each can make a difference in the world. How will you nurture and share your power? Let us know at power-living.com.